yeah so as per the railway statistics released in 2018 guys telangana is having has only 1823 kilometers of railway route guys okay 1823 kilometers of the route length is present in our telangana guys whereas india is having 60 okay yeah guys 67000 here what we said 67000 okay okay so india is having 67900 guys more than 900 kilometers of the railway network is present in india but how much is present in telangana it is just 1800 guys okay so the stations which are present in telangana are 207 stations guys in one of the book which has been recently released by the government or telugu academy guys there they said that it is having only it is having 237 guys but the information coming from the government sources or the site is saying that we are having only 207 stations present in telangana guys right and the railway budget grant for telangana has increased by 6.2 percentage guys okay so the budget grant for railways in telangana has increased by 60 to 602 percentage in 2018-19 as compared to that of 2014-15 guys so within 5 years the grant of railway budget to telangana has increased by 602 percentage guys right so what are the new railway lines coming up in telangana guys the new railway lines coming up in telangana are the nizabad the new railway lines have been initiated guys in nizabad lingampet and jagityal guys okay then mela cheru mela cheru mattampalli janpahad mela cheru is now in surya pet guys previous it was the khammam mela cheru right mattampalli and janpahad khammam devarkonda jakler right so this is the part and parcel of munirabad and mayur nagar uh project guys and devarakadra guys not devarakonda devarakadra so here they are trying to enhance the connectivity guys then tellapur and ramachandrapuram it is a part of mmts phase 2 project guys right so our uh, mmts of hyderabad under phase 2 they want to increase it to uh, between tellapur and ramachandrapuram guys right so this is this are the new railway lines guys which are coming up or which are in the offing guys right important project completed since 2014 in our telangana from 2014 to 2022 guys right ragavapuram peddampet manchurial mandamarri in this areas the third lane was laid guys okay so the third track has been laid between the ragavapuram peddampet manchurial and mandamarri right and between bollaram and medchal the doubling of the line has been completed guys doubling second lane has been completed right and electrification has been completed between ragavapuram and mandamarri malkajgiri medipelli chegunta yedlapur pagadipalli pondugula right peddapelli gangadhara tellapur ramachandrapuram mattampalli vishnupuram so these are for the electrification of the railway lines guys so in these areas they want to or some of the electrification work has been already completed and some are under the completion right and now we are having the work in progress guys right so 19 surveys for new lines are in pipeline okay so surveys are going to set up 19 new lines in telangana guys right and for 705 kilometers of the route length right so length the electrification is been undertaken guys right and non electrified railway routes in states are been electrified rapidly these are the things which are taking place guys right then the private six private sidings are commissioned in telangana within last 5 years guys private siding means the government will be having their own track going like this guys right and any of the private firm is coming up guys so what they will be doing they will be taking a route from into these areas guys so that what are the imports and exports are been coming out of that can be easily put under the main 
track guys so six private sidings have been commissioned in telangana in the last five years guys right new freight new private freight terminals right have been commissioned at shankarpelli and kaukuntla in two of these areas the freight terminals have been initiated private guys freight terminals only for the goods they have constructed a fry, private freight terminals at shankarpelli and kaukuntla right and five new stations have been opened for handling goods only guys only for the handling of the goods five new stations are opened up otherwise previously for the goods to be carried they have to be taken to one particular station from that station only they will be going guys but they have opened up five new station for handling the goods traffic at the new line projects okay badrachalam kobur section right for 151 kilometers are been built with the cost of 923 kilometers guys okay then kondapalli kottagudam 125 kilometers with 616 uh, crores of rupees guys right munirabad mahbub nagar right it is a part and parcel of the 66 kilometers from devar kadra to krishna guys is under this munirabad devar kadra guys so out of the total uh, route of 645 kilometers guys right 246 kilometers are pertaining to the state of telangana in that 66 kilometers are been enhanced okay then manoharabad kottapalli 150 kilometers for 975 crores badrachalam road to satpalli khamam guys 57 kilometers in length guys akkana pet medak 17 kilometers manuguru ramagundam guys 200 kilometers and the mmts phase will be for 84 kilometers of length guys these are the new projects which are in offing okay and recently the government right the uh, minister of mdu right the municipal and general administration right division went to davos guys okay so where the state has bagged a investment commitment of 1000 crores from stalder rails guys in joint venture with hyderabad based meda servo drives okay so they want to set up a rail coach factory in kondakal in karimna uh, rangareddy guys at kondakal of rangareddy right thousand crores of investment is been planned for setting up the railway coach factory guys so and that is been uh, with the help of the stadler rail limited and it's a joint venture between the stadler and the meda servo drives guys so if these people come here and they build the coaches guys automatically that will be the world class coaches and they can be exported to the world countries guys okay then we are also having the hyderabad rail project metro rail project guys okay so this hyderabad metro rail project of our telangana is said to be one of the classic examples of the uh, metro rails in our country guys because it has eased the congestion traffic congestions to maximum of the extent in the uh, hyderabad guys because the hyderabad mmts is the mmts line guys the local train line which is present in hyderabad guys that is going through the outskirts guys where the people are not even present guys okay and this metro rail project is going through the cities that is the reason because of which a little bit of traffic congestions have been completely come down guys and the hyderabad metro right rail project is been running in three corridors guys one is miyapur lb nagar right then jubilee bus station to falaknuma then nagol to high tech city guys so these are the three corridors in which the metro rail project of hyderabad is been run okay now we'll be talking about the air transportation guys our the rajiv gandhi international airport or the shamshabad airport guys okay so airport authority of india is managing 154 airports in india guys okay 
Airport Authority of India is managing 154 airports in India. Out of that, 29 are international airports. Okay, in that 29, 21 are managed by Airport Authority of India, 3 are managed by the civil enclaves and 5 of them are in the joint venture guys. Okay, so out of 29, 21 are directly managed by Airport Authority of India, 5 are managed by the joint ventures and 3 are managed by the civil enclaves guys. The government, right, military and the Airport Authority of India will be having the in charge there guys. Right. And we are having 114 domestic airports, guys. 56 are managed by Airport Authority of India. 20 are the civilian enclaves, right? Civilian enclaves means the airports of the military present in the civil lines, guys. Then 25 of the Airport Authority of India's non-operational airports are there, guys. 24 of 25 of the airports are there, which are not in operation and three of the civilian enclaves are also in non-operation and 11 of the JVs are present in that uh, 114 domestic airports guys and we are having 10 customs airports guys okay so this is related to the airports at present and 361 sites are present in India right which are Unserved, but they are having the feasibility of landing and takeoff facilities, guys. Okay, feasibility of the flight operations. So, whenever there is an emergency, right, we are having 361 sites from where the flights can be operated, guys. Right, and we are having the recently the government of India has announced the Udan RCS, guys, Ude Deshka Na Am Nagarik Regional Connectivity, right, scheme. Ude Desh ka Aam Nagarik, right? And regional connectivity scheme, guys. So, Ude Desh ka Naam Agar, uh, Ude Desh ka Aam Nagarik and regional connectivity scheme. Under this, the new airports are being developed, guys. Okay, so the new airports are being developed for them to increase the connectivity within India, guys. Okay, so this Udan RCS was introduced on April 27th. 2017. This is related to the Airport Authority of India's management, guys. Right? And in our Telangana, we are having nine airports at present, guys. We are having nine airports. One is the Rajiv Gandhi Airport, which is operational, guys, which is having its functioning taking place. And Rajiv Gandhi Airport, which is presented Shamshabad, guys. Right? And the operator of the Rajiv Gandhi Airport is GMR. Hyderabad International Airport Limited, guys. Okay. Operator is GMR. Okay. Then the Begumpet Airport, guys. Okay. So, here commercial services are not there, guys. But the military and the other authorities are present. And this is directly under the Airport Authority of India. Then the Warangal Airport also, the airport is not functional. Till 81, it was functional. And at the time of independence, it was the biggest of the airport present in our Telangana guys and it is also under the control of Airport Authority of India. Then Ramagundam Airport, right? Airport Authority of India and Aditya Birla, right? And it was in the service until 1995 guys. But now it is used only for emergency and the VIP, VVIP landings only guys. Then these are not commercial ones and they are Closed partially, guys. Then comes the Indian Air Force airports, guys. Dundigal, right? Dundigal Air Force Academy. This is the academy where uh, present uh, in Dundigal, guys, near to Hyderabad, right? Where naval and the Air Force personalities are being trained for pilot and the ground activities, guys. Okay. Then Hakimpet Air Force. Again, it is present on other side of. Hyderabad guys and this is these two are called as civilians guys so under the uh, authority of Indian Air Force okay then the Nizamabad airports are being proposed and Kotagudam airports are being proposed and the other airport is the Nadarwul airport guys and this Nadarwul is also present nearer to Hyderabad nearer to the or on the Nagarno Sagar highway and this is being used as 
the airport for the pilot trainings guys so on the whole we are having nine guys so begumpet airport right it is the part public and part military airport guys right so this airport is shared by rajiv gandhi civil aviation academy right and the begumpet air force station of the indian air force guys so both of them are using this and the rajiv gandhi aviation academy is using this for the the curriculum guys okay the maintenance and the workings of the uh, aircrafts is been done here dundigal air force academy right located in dundigal it includes training to the flying technical and ground duty branches as well as for the officers of army and navy guys okay then ramgundam airport just now i said the airport is not frequently in use since 2010 but only vvip is carrying flights are permitted to use and for emergency landing guys nadar goal it is located just 12 km southeast of hyderabad and nagar sagar highway right and it is having the andhra pradesh flying club flight tech aviation academy and rajiv gandhi aviation academies these are using this to train their pilots guys pilot training institutions are there and they are using the nadar goal airfields guys then the varangal airport right so it is located in varangal it is marked as the largest it was marked as the largest airport in the pre independence era guys but we are not having any uh, scheduled flights from that airport okay and recently the government of telangana said that they want to come up with six more airports guys okay so they want to build six more airports out of that two of the sites are been listed guys one is shamirpet the other one is gatkesar okay so they have listed two of the sites one is shamirpet and the other one is at gatkesar guys but right these two of the airports are under 150 kilometers away from the rajiv gandhi international airport of shamir uh, shad uh, shamshabad guys so according to the gmr group guys according to the Uh, agreement with the gmr group right till 2030 till 2030 right no one should or no new airport should come within the limits of 150 km was the agreement made by the government of the then uh, andhra pradesh the civil aviation ministry and gmr guys but these two of the areas are present 158 within the ambit of 150 kilometers only so most probably till at least till 2030 this airports may not be the possibilities guys this is related to our totality of transportation guys right by this we are completing our uh, telangana geography right guys if you have any doubts right you can call me on the the numbers which are present on the slides guys or you can text me just for the doubts okay and the doubts related to the subject guys okay other than that don't waste your time and my time okay guys bye and all the best guys